Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's get this party started. So we're gonna take this hat off? Why are you doing <laughs> me like that? <laughs> I'm using a razor blade to cut the thread that was used to sew this wig to the exterior part of her braids. So the middle part of her head was just braided down, but the exterior braids is what the wig was sewn down to. It can be a little stressful on your edges depending on how long you leave it on, but I think this is a pretty decent way to do it if you're gonna wear a wig. So I'm just taking that off carefully, making sure that I don't cut her hair as I cut the thread. And oh my goodness, you know that feeling of relief when you finally get your braids out or you take your um, hair down, it's like, yes, God. Now we're gonna get into taking down her braids um, little by little. This was an exciting part for me because I got the opportunity to see what we were working with. All right, folks, so we got out the uh, braids that were underneath. She got like a whole lot of hair, finer in texture, which is fine, um, but a, a lot of hair to work with. So we're gonna get into it. Now that I got all of the braids out, it was time to kind of analyze. I have not seen her hair in, or style her hair in years. So I was able to get a pre-cut once I saw the areas that she's thin at around her edges and thinner in the crown take into consideration what would be the best way to approach her haircut. So I gave a pre-cut. She is natural, so she will be getting a virgin relaxer. And instead of going in and putting relaxer on all this hair that I'm eventually going to cut off, I always try to get a rough shape of the cut prior to so that I'm not wasting product on hair that I'm eventually going to cut off. So I'm just getting a general structure, leaving enough hair for me to make any modifications that I need to make. All right, we're about to get into this relaxer process. We got her hair pre-cut. We're going shorter than this, but this will give me the flexibility to see what I'm working with before I cut too much hair off. I have based her hair and given her a pre-chemical treatment. If you don't know about a pre-chemical treatment, you should. Y'all know I'm big on you not relaxing your hair yourself because there are professional measures that can be taken when giving y'all chemical services that stylists have access to. So we put on a pre-chemical treatment on her hair and now we're gonna go in and straighten this stuff out, you know? I've prepped her hair and now I'm going in and giving her a virgin relaxer. Virgin relaxer should be done by a stylist. It is so imperative that it the hair is properly processed, not over processed, um, but it can really make or break the outcome, especially if you have been natural and you're choosing to go to uh, a relaxed style, whether it's a pixie or not. You, you wanna make sure your hair is in optimal health, but that your hair is being relaxed to benefit the style that you're about to get. You don't want to over relax a part of your hair that could use a little bit of thickness or camouflage. After she was shampooed and conditioned, I took her back to the chair to cut a little bit more of her hair because now I can see her texture 
where the areas of thin are that she wanted to camouflage and the things that would make her feel most comfortable. So now I know what hair can go, what hair needs to stay. And then of course, the infamous mold. The mold is the foundation for your short hair style. So whether or not you plan to have it curled in style or if you're wearing it flat or if you're waving it, whatever the final look is when you're rocking short hair, it is determined with the way you mold your hair. I am not a person who blow dries and then styles hair. I know that some people do go about it that way. The mold really sets the hair in the direction that you want it to go in. And it just adds longevity to the style. It's a great way to add detail. If you see how uh, I always add just face framing parts to every mold because it adds a very feminine, soft, just delicate uh, balance to rocking short hair. So of course I'm using the Pixie-ish Molding Mousse to give her the foundation uh, of her style. We left her a little bit heavier in the bang. She changed her mind about 50 times, but you know, that's what happens when you're doing your friend, it's cool. We're going in with wrap strips. Wrap strips are the only way you should be really molding and drying your hair. If you use a scarf, you're going to have wrinkles and um, just your hair, if it's not properly relaxed or freshly relaxed, will crawl on you. So always use wrap strips because they conform to the shape of your head, allowing the hair to dry straight, flat, and tight, giving you a bomb foundation. Check out her final look. I love how slow you be moving. <laughs> Bestie was popping, y'all. She's back to Team Short Hair. We went out, hit the streets, and I just wanted to show y'all how turned up she was all weekend. A new cut to do that to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Got any questions? Drop them in the description below.